this thing start. Hi everyone, my name is Ernest and I've created this video to help anyone planning a trip to the Big Island of Hawaii, and specifically anyone who's planning to snorkel on the Big Island. If you've already done some research into snorkeling spots on the Big Island, you've almost certainly read about a location called Two-Step, which is also referred to by a few other names, including Honaunao Bay, City of Refuge, and Paea. If your reading has led you to consider visiting Two-Step, I can tell you that you should stop considering it and just go. Okay, now before showing you our footage, just a few quick bits of context. The surf was really high during the entire week of our most recent trip to the Big Island, and you'll see that in the video, particularly at the start, where we had to swim through a fairly strong current to get further out into the bay. It's worth noting, though, that one of the things that makes Two Steps such a great spot for snorkeling is that the layout of the bay naturally protects it from the, water, uh, the worst of the surf which is important not only because it keeps you from getting knocked around on the surface, but also because it means less sand gets kicked up into the water, preserving visibility. We went snorkeling at a spot closer to our hotel on the same day, and that spot's usually excellent, but we had to come right back in because the visibility in the water was so poor. Second, the footage is pretty much in the order in which we shot it. We stuck to the left side of the bay because it's more protected from the surf, and we essentially did a counterclockwise loop. The whole experience was amazing, but then as we're heading back in and only about 20 yards from shore, my wife spotted a beautiful old green sea turtle out of the corner of her eye, and we ended up having the most remarkable interaction. We'd seen sea turtles on previous swims, but never like this. It was, it was really a magical experience. But enough about me telling you about it, let me show you. Something's out there in space that regulations don't cover. Ladies and gentlemen, these be the ladies. Station MXA. The regulations don't cover.
So hopefully you'll now understand why I think you should put two-step at the top of your list of snorkeling spots on the Big Island. And this footage was shot on a day when conditions were far from ideal. If the water was calmer, we would, have, we would have explored the right side of the bay, by which I mean the right side when you're looking out at the water from the beach, which gets much deeper and is a popular hangout for large pots of spinner dolphins. Two-step is dead simple to get to by car. If you get lucky, you can park on the road for free or in the lot for the Pu'u Hanua Ohanauna National Historical Park, which is right next door to Two-Step. Parking there costs just $5, and you get the added bonus of access to the historical park, which is really beautiful and informative. We parked at the historical park, snorkeled at Two-Step for about an hour and a half, then took a walking tour of the park, which made for a really terrific afternoon. Whether you park on the street or at the historical park, access to the water is just a few minutes walk away. I hope this video was useful for you. If so, please give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone else you think might like it, and subscribe to this channel. I'll be posting more videos in the coming weeks with reviews of some of the gear I use on this trip, like the terrific full-face Easy Breathe mask you saw my wife using uh, in our underwater footage, along with my prescription Sea Vision mask, and also this amazing fully submersible waterproof bag from a company called Watershed. We used it to hold our phones, sandals, and all our other necessities while snorkeling so that we wouldn't have to leave anything out on the beach while we're at the water. So look out for those videos, and thanks for watching.